Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. It's actually like four something in the morning. I'm actually recording this right before I leave out the door to go to work. Um, but I wanted to provide you all with some tangible tips to help you get through your work day. As you know, your girl has been struggling a little bit um, just with my current employment and something pretty amazing happened last night. I was actually laying in bed, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through, through TikTok, getting my daily laughs in, and then it started to rain and then it started to storm really bad. And I live in a country, so anytime we get a bad storm, my internet is not good at all. So I actually um, ended up reading, which is something that I love to do, but I have not been making the time to do so. And the crazy thing is, look at the book that I started to read. After the Rain. This is a book I got about a month ago. Um, if you look at my video about when I went to DC to the Tap of the Brown Book Tour, um, Alexander L. was the moderator on that tour, and this is her book, and it's been so helpful so far. I haven't read much of it, because like I said, it just started last night, but as you can see, I have been highlighting. Um, and so this is definitely a book I'll probably end up doing a book review on, just because I feel like there's some really good information in this book, and it's definitely timely to what I'm experiencing right now. Um... But my biggest takeaway is just that I create the narrative. So even though I'm at a place now where I need to make some decisions in regards to my employment, I can definitely make the best out of today. And um, so I was I woke up this morning feeling good. I woke up before my alarm, y'all. And I just thought about what are the things that I can do to make today the best day possible. And to piggyback on that, what are some things that I've done in the past that have made for a good day? And so I actually um, took some notes and I'm going to run through this real quick and then I got to get out the door to get to work. So um, the first thing is giving gratitude. Y'all know I always talk about <clears throat> being grateful for just the journey. And that's been something that I've really had to stand on. Um, I'm not going to say like things are not all bad at work. Let me just say that. But I always say I know how God speaks to me and I know when he is telling me that it is time to move. And that's definitely been something that I've been battling with because I definitely enjoy what I do. But like I said in my previous video, the politics at work have really gotten to the point where it's nauseating and it's not something that I feel like I can tolerate. Um, but yeah, giving gratitude. So literally before, even before I got to the point where I was completely frustrated with work, Whenever I open my eyes, as soon as my feet hit the floor, I thank God for the day. Um, there's just so much that goes into acknowledging that even being able to get out of bed, you are already able to express gratitude in a way that some people can. And, you know, when you express gratitude, it's not necessarily about a tip for, not tip for tat, what am I trying to say? It's not about um, being thankful that you have one up on somebody, but it's really acknowledging just how blessed and thankful we should be for the things that, how blessed we are. And so therefore how thankful we should be for life's small gifts, such as being able to get out of bed on your own, being able to walk, you know, those kind of things. Uh, the second thing that I do is make the bed. And the reason that I try to make sure that I make the bed in the morning is just because, um, when I was really in the thickness of depression, which was about two or three years ago, I was not making the bed. And so I oftentimes associate not making a bed with like that time. And I realized just, um, I, I really was not at a, I couldn't y'all. Like I was literally fighting to get out of bed in the morning. It was that bad. And I made a video about that. I still need to edit and I am going to edit it and post it, but um, now just making a bed kind of gives me that win for the day. Like one thing that I've already achieved, achieved for the day. And I read somewhere, I can't remember where, but, um, I read that millionaires tend to make their beds for the same reason. It sets the tone for the day. Um, you've already gotten a win under your belt for the day. And aside from that, it just feels good to come home to a bed that's already made. Yeah, I know I like to get my sleep and my rest, so... You know, being able to peel those covers back after a long day is something so satisfying about it. Um, so my third tip is just to listen to some music that inspires you. Um, I love 90s r and I love hip hop. But when I first get my day started, I like to listen to stuff that I consider to be inspirational. One of my favorite songs is Closer by 
I do not want to mispronounce her name, but it's G-O-A-P-L-E. Go full. Go. I don't know. But um, that is a song that I started liking back in college and undergrad. And it's just something about that song that really makes me feel like I am on the path to what it is that I am put here to do. I am on the path to greatness. And, and so it's a song that I like to start my day with. Sometimes I listen to it two or three times. Um, but I definitely like to set the tone for the day before getting into my 90s R&B and my hip hop. Um, the next thing is really enjoying getting dressed. So what I mean by this is when I'm getting dressed for work, I like to just enjoy the process of getting dressed, if that makes sense. I find that when I give myself enough time to really take my time in the morning instead of rushing, I tend to enjoy the process of getting ready for work better. Like today, I threw on some lashes, you know, I, you know, I just, I feel good because I look good. Yeah. So that's something that I really, um, I've learned about myself. Like when I can take my time and enjoy the process of getting ready for work, it just makes things a little bit better. Um, Number five is saying my prayers. Now, I usually say my prayers once I get in the car. Um, we have a driveway leading up to like the main road. And then like I have to go through some back roads before I get on the main, main road. And so I just like to take that time to say my prayers and set my intentions for the day. And um, my prayers, like I, again, start my prayer off with gratitude. Again, thanking the Lord for the day. Thanking God for another opportunity to... Um, make a difference in the world. I thank him for his protection. I pray for my family. I pray for my friends. I pray for other people that may come up um, in my prayers. Jasmine from Instagram, we talked last night because we were on the same page as far as like just feeling so exhausted from work that you really haven't been able to um, do other things when you get home from work that you would otherwise enjoy. And I told her, girl, I'm going to have you in my prayers this week. She got a big event coming up on Saturday. So I told her, when I tell people I'm going to pray for them, I really pray for them. So this is, again, holding me accountable. I'm going to say my prayers today and you're going to be in them, girl. Um, and I, you know, again, just connecting to a higher source before I really start my day is very helpful. Um, Y'all know I'm a moon person, so anytime the moon is out, because I go to work super early in the morning, so oftentimes the moon is still out, um, I enjoy looking at the moon while I'm driving, saying my prayers, again, before I get into the thickness of my day. So um, after I say my prayers, sometimes I'll listen to a motivational YouTube video, again, just to kind of set the tone for my day. And then after that, or sometimes, you know, not every day I listen to YouTube or watch you, well, listen, because I'm driving, but y'all know what I mean. Um, and then after that, it's a party until I get to work. So I have my 90s R&B playing on Pandora or, you know, I have my title and I'll think of a song I want to hear. And I just, I party until I get to work. And that really helps get me in a good mood and at least give myself a fair chance of having the most amazing day possible. Um, when I get on the road in the morning, it's really not that many people on the road. So I'm actually able to like enjoy the commute to work which is why people talk about, oh, you drive so far to go to work. Y'all, I thoroughly enjoy it because it gives me time to get my mind right. I'm not somebody that would enjoy working five minutes from home. I just need time to, you know, wake up and kind of get my mind right for the day. And then the last thing that um, I wrote down is just to identify the task, the task that I want to accomplish for the day once I do get to work. Um, I'm sure most of you can identify with the fact that within our jobs, there's so many things that require our attention throughout the day. And so it's really been helpful for me to sit, to sit, I'm so country, to set maybe like four things that regardless of what happens throughout the day, I'm going to get those four things done. Um, and that just helps me. I'm, I'm a checklist person, so I get gratification by being able to check things off of my list as I go. So that's definitely helpful. And that's definitely something that I plan to implement today. Um, and like, I feel good today, y'all. I got my water, my water with my lime. Um, that's also helpful. Like just getting your body started for the day. I don't even know if I want coffee this morning. That's something that I actually enjoy in the morning. It's like making my coffee. Um, but I don't even know if I need or want coffee this morning. I don't know. We'll see. But I feel good. I really feel like being put in position yesterday where the internet was acting crazy and so I resorted to reading. I needed that. I needed to remember how much 
not that I forgot how much I enjoy reading, but I just wasn't prioritizing. It was school and just life in general. It wasn't something that I was prioritizing. So, you know, I, I'm really excited to finish this book. It's really been um, helpful. Even the first few pages that I read. And when I say it touched on like just where I am in life, I was like, all right, God, I see you. And like I said, nothing is coincidental. So I'm reading this book at the time in which I needed to read this book. Um, so I encourage all of you just to have an amazing day. Do the best that you can today. That's what I tell my coworkers. Like, they be at work real stressed out. And I be like, yo, you are one person. Do what you can do in the rest. Hey, do it tomorrow. Or, you know, learn to delegate tasks. Learn to really be or really celebrate the accomplishments. The comp mm, one second. Learn to really celebrate the accomplishments that you um, do make throughout the workday. And just those little nuggets like that um, continued self-talk during the day is something that helps me out, helps get me um, through the day. Having a direct supervisor that is really supportive and he, um, you know, he really just, he gets it. He is clinical, so he understands just the stress of managing other people's lives or, you know, trying to help other people manage their lives, I should say, because um, counseling is not like you don't do the work for them. You just guide them through their process and their journey. Um, but adding another layer on for individuals that are struggling with mental health and substance use, oftentimes it's, it can be difficult. But like I tell you all all the time, it's something that I thoroughly enjoy, something that I'm passionate about. Passionate about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to finish... I just got to put shoes on. I don't know what shoes I'm wearing. Y'all got these um, platform chucks that I have. I really love. I really love those shoes. I need to get some more colors because I be wearing a hell out of those shoes. But I think that's what I'm going to go with for today. Um, but I'm excited. I have another win under my boat for today. I'm recording a video. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to upload that bad boy. And boom, I'm, you know, I'm posting. So... Here's to Tuesday. Let's make it a great day. Do the best that you can with the cards that you've been dealt. And I will see you all in another video.